and welcome to another episode of Food Bar. In today's episode, I want to talk about the different mechanisms that Step Function has to handle errors. So when we are building our applications, we want to pick the right way of handling that errors using Step Functions. And I want to show you some code demos so you know how to use it. So let's get started. I said many times that one of my favorite things of step functions is this built in error handling features. When you are building serverless applications, you are working with a lot of integrations and connecting different APIs and services. And as our CTO Bernard Vogel says all the time, everything fails all the time. Remember, everything fails all the time. So you can write those error handling mechanisms in your applications, functions, containers directly. And then when you use them in your state machine, trust that they are there, but that adds some boilerplate and code becomes complex and it's hard to test. So why not to extract a lot of the error handling that you can, that makes sense, out to the workflow so your code becomes simpler and easier to test. So for example, if you're calling an uh, external API, if you are using a Lambda function and you want to add that error handling mechanism in place, you need to build that retries mechanism, the exponential back off, how Lambda will know when to call it again. You might need to keep the Lambda uh, function open because if not, you lose the state. If not, you might need to write it to Dynamo and it adds a lot of complexity. If in the other hand, you choose to go to the step functions native way, use the HTTP invoke the external API, and then add the retries, timeouts, and failback states directly into the state machine, that will make everything simpler for you. In this video, I want to talk about retries, fallback states, and redrive. And I will add also timeouts in the list, but we'll cover them when we talk about retries because they are part of that. Let's start talking a little bit of what kind of errors workflows uh, face. There are many reasons why application fails, but usually the most common ones are errors in the workflow definition itself. Either we have a misconfiguration or we have problems with permissions. And usually these errors are catched during testing and development. But then there are other errors due to things failing. Either a Lambda function gets an exception or an API is not available, or you're expecting something from a database that is not there. And these errors need to be handled in your workflow in order to make your application more resilient and not to time out and give weird things. So reach tries are the first error handling mechanism I want to talk about. This mechanism, you can find it in task, parallel, and map states. So not all the state types have these mechanisms open. In here, you can define the retry configuration, for example, on which error to retry. Maybe you don't want to retry in all the errors, but if there is an error on an API gateway, like the API gateway has some issue, it's not available, or there is a 500 or something like that, you might want to retry or maybe there is a timeout and you want to retry. And there are many other elements that you can configure when you're working with retries. You can, let's look at some of them in the workflow studio. Let me open that and we can see. So here I have a state machine. Let's go to edit. And this state machine has quite a, a lot of configuration. So I'm calling a third party endpoint. And here you should see error handling and retry on errors. So if we open this retrier, we can see in which errors it will retry. So in this case, it will only check when this task failed. And then it will have an interval. That is the numbers of seconds before the first retry attempt. In this case, it's two seconds. And we want to make it so we are not bombarding that third party API with request. Then we want to do what is the maximum attempt. So it will retry once. So basically this API will be called two times. And then the back of rates is the multiplier by the retry. Basically it will do two by two. It will take four seconds to uh, retry again. And then if I have multiple retries, it will take longer and longer. And in this way, if the API is not available for any reason, then I'm not bombarding it with requests all the time. 
And then we can add a maximum delay, how much we are await, allowed to await, because if we have infinite amount of retries, then we might have a very long delay and we, that will not make sense. So we can keep that in there and then we can add cheater and this adds like a little bit of randomness in between each retry so if you have multiple parallel calls to this third party service you are not bombarding them always at the same time exactly at the same time things are happening here and there you can build that and then if you see here as well you can add timeouts and this when you're calling APIs, this is something very important. You can enter the timeout in seconds. In this case, it's 30 because this is implemented on API Gateway. So I know more than 30 will not make sense, but you can have whatever you want. And this will make the task fail if the timeout is rich. So that's something you can also here find that error and the A if it timeouts, then you can do this configuration. And if you saw before, you can add different types of retriers for different types of errors. So I could have here one for the timeout that will be very different from the one that is the uh, thing that the task failed. So that's something uh, quite handy. Another error handling mechanism in step functions is the fallback states. This is typical in programming languages when we do this try, catch, and finally. And we can do something very similar in step functions. And we can basically add a fallback state to task, maps, and parallel states. And we can catch any errors and do something when that happens. So let's go back to the workflow studio and see how that is configured. So again, we are in this calling this third party API task, and you can see here the catch errors configuration again in error handling. So if I open this one again, I can catch errors based on the error type. If in this case, the task fail, and then I can decide which one is my fallback state in this case, SNS to publish a message to SNS. And then I can pass a resolve path either so I can add an error and I can tell what happened. So this is something very cool. And in the case, it's a similar thing as with the retries that we can add different catchers for different types of errors. So you can add more interesting solutions or interesting ways of handling the errors depending your needs. And the last error handling mechanism I want to cover in this video is redrive. This is a new feature. It was announced at the end of last year, almost in reinvent time, and it allows you to recover from failures easily. So redrive works differently from retries and catch because we have a workflow that failed already. And then we can grab the uh, workflow from the point of failure and restart it, but restart it from the point of failure. So imagine that you built a workflow that didn't have any retry mechanisms configured, or it's a workflow that is connecting to a very specific system, or you're working on some integration and the workflow failed. Then you can use the redrive functionality to restart the workflow in that particular API call, try it again, and everything will move on from there. If you want, let me know. I can make a full video on this feature and I can add it to CDs and show you a demo and how it works. But for now, I leave you the blog post of the launch that you can find in the description box. And that's the video for me today. I hope you like this video. Give a big thumbs up and I leave you here the playlist where you can find all the content I'm making around step functions. There is quite a lot, very deep dives as this one. There is of all kinds of topics. And in here also I leave you the video for the external APIs that the demo I was showing you, how I build it, what ev everything does. So if you want to learn more about that, you can go and check that one out. And I see you in another episode of Uber. Oh,